For this video lecture, we will look at circular motion for objects that are going around a curve at an angle. So think of airplanes turning or cars going around a racetrack. In this example, a car is traveling around some racetrack that is banked at an angle. The surface of the racetrack is frictionless, so the, there is going to be no friction acting on the car. The force that keeps the car from moving outward and sliding off the track is actually due to the normal force. This is because the car's weight is directed downward. Some component of that is directed perpendicular upward from the track. There is some part of that that is going to be directed inward in the X component or along the radius of this circle. Here is the derivation for how we can calculate the speed of a car moving around a frictionless track at some radius r if the curve is banked at some angle theta. This would be the same thing as what we've done in chapter 4. First, draw a free body diagram. Get used to drawing these. We're going to do this a lot. Second, come up with a reasonable form of for our axes, what direction makes sense to orient x and y? Third, is the object accelerating? In this case, it is because it's moving in a circular path. Then, we want to go through and solve for all the components here in order to actually solve the question. Here we have a race car with a mass of 1,250 kilograms as it travels around a frictionless racetrack that has a radius of 670 meters. The curve is banked a total of eight degrees. What I'd like you to calculate is what is the fastest speed the car can drive without losing control. Also, what I'd like you to think about is what would happen if the car goes faster or slower than this. Please make sure to put your answers in online underneath the videos on the website. Thank you very much. Have a good night and pay special attention to this type of problem for what we will do in our lab tomorrow. Oh, that was too much.